Geek Fuels coming at you this week on Unbox It Monthly. This is my first one, like a geek box here. It's always hard to keep track of all of them. So let's get this bad boy open and see what we've got this week. It's a geeky goodness box. Well, all right, they're starting out pretty good right away here. We've got uh, a Star Wars comic right on top. Definitely coming out in time for the new movie here. Let's open this up here. First thing. We have a little Vault Tech ID card from Fallout 4, which I'm playing currently. You can get your picture put right on there. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, we have Ghostbusters playing cards. If you get to know me soon, uh, Ghostbusters is one of my favorite movies, so that is pretty epic. We have a Mockingjay sticker. Read the books, didn't really want to watch the movies. Oh, we have a salt and pepper shaker for Pac-Man, so we got some of the ghosts. Now I don't know the ghost's name, sorry. Ooh, what's this? Uh, how video games are made. It's a little kind of booklet. Kind of an easy little pamphlet. I'm sure it's the Cliff Notes version. We've got a t-shirt packed in here. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a, looks like it's a, uh, it's a titled Resistance, but it's a little X-Wing model kit t-shirt. It's kind of cool. Something unique and different. We've got a poster. Wrapped up poster. Trying to get posters out of the little plastic things is always the worst. It takes forever to get them out of here. And you try not to crinkle it. Oh, there we go. Looks like we have War Never Changes. Another Fallout thing. We got the power suit armor there. Some little mini nukes. Alright. What else is at the bottom here? Oh, we just have their little card on what was included here. There you go. So that was what is in this geek box. And I'm gonna actually open up a couple of these things here now. Oh, yeah, and here's the little pamphlet that came with it. A booklet about Geek Fuel. Oh, Star Wars Battlefront, also playing that. Here we're reading material. Alright, let's open up this salt and pepper shaker here. See what these look like. Oh, individually wrapped here. They're, they're hefty. A pretty, pretty decent weight to them, too. They don't feel too flimsy. I mean, you should definitely don't want to knock them on the floor or the ceramic. But, at the same time, you're not going to crush it in your hands. So yeah, they're cute. Now, for the coup de grace, we've got to open up the Ghostbuster cards. Now, I'm slicing my own freaking hand off here. Oh, little plastic. You're so much fun. Maybe. Now, there was one of the subscription boxes that actually had a lot of Ghostbuster stuff in it. I didn't get that one, and I was very disappointed. I did order the... it came with like a little trap, like a little uh, tin, kind of like a lunchbox-ish looking thing. It looks like one of their traps, and it, came, and it came with a little stuffed Slimer. So I did happen to get that because, again, Ghostbusters is amazing. I am looking forward to the new movie as well. A little disappointed it's a reboot versus maybe staying in the same universe, but I'm still excited for it. Here are the playing cards. Looks like the face cards are going to have different things on them. So you've got like a Slimer and a Stay Puft. There's Stay Puft. There's one of the Ghostbusters. And then the number cards, uh, they're all from just like they're uh, blank there. So yeah, those are kind of sweet. I'm pretty happy with that. It's all them online. I was actually thinking about ordering them perhaps. But now, I don't have to. Came with the set. So here you go. There is your Geek Fuel box for this month.